What's up guys? <coughs> so uh, slowly starting to buy some games and uh, tossing that on the channel. Although this is a little bit of older one, it's uh, it was launched on Steam side in 2017. Is Mass Effect Andromeda Edition, uh, well the Deluxe Edition actually. So uh, anyway, tongue twisted there a bit. But anyway, um, that aside, uh, it has gotten a bunch of good reviews. Um, it is oddly about 40 gig that you're going to need to download for the installation. Um, seems like there's two, two different games that you can play. Um, well, characters. So let's just jump into it for those of you that don't know the game. So you can just take a look. Um, it's still going to set you back on Steam side oddly about $25. Just take note of that. So the graphics also are left it on auto detect. Um, although there's a RTX 3060 in this machine, though. Um, Still need to see how it runs. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream. Reality. All right, so that's a pretty cool storyline right there. But yes, all the decent games, most of the decent games is actually something that you have to buy. I would never recommend doing the pirated thing because uh, what you'll notice is uh, those executables of the so-called ACT games, so you don't need to buy it, um, is usually more than like 20 to 30 meg. And that is oddly about the size that you need for someone to gain access to your computer as well. I actually saw some free source code for uh, a botnet that is oddly about the same size, so you can just bolt that into the EXE. Anyway, like I said, I am a little bit of a programmer, but uh, I would never recommend it to you guys, man. There's, there's so many free games that you can get on Epic and Steam that it is not necessary to put your computer at risk and also your privacy. So, uh, just take out the little bit of box rather and buy the games from a proper plat platform like Epic or Steam. We'll just play the free ones, man. You can have endless amount of fun with the free ones as well. But I do give away um, some monthly prizes that will assist those that cannot afford paid games into buying ones. So You're gonna wanna take it easy. Make sure you keep an eye on the years. channel. Ryder, Sarah, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? 
The one's finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? Right, so she came out of stasis or something. That's what it seemed like there. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Right. <clears throat> Tone choice to help define Ryder's personality is emotional, logical, casual and professional. Right, so you have to make decisions on what to answer, actually. Um, so what we trained for, man. Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Word came down, the Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? Right. <clears throat> um. I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection is still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? Alright. I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Wow. Ah, that's quite crazy. What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Right. Try to brace yourself. Remedy cryobase offline. I'm all over the dark. Hold on. That is insane. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. <coughs> What's wrong? I don't know. Alright, so mouse sensitivity seems right to me, at least. So, uh... Sarah, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. 
Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to have it? Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. All right. The present Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As recon specialists, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Parchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including ARCs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the Central Support Hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is... unknown. Status of Outposts are... unknown. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I guess that's all of it. To reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream. And I'm proud to help make those dreams. I guess that is the dream of humanity is to, I'd love to hear how we're doing. go to other planets and so forth. So, uh... But uh, that's some insane technology, man. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Sweet dreams. Wow. Another colonist here. Right, so the engine is pretty smooth, man. I like mainly enjoy running at the stage. You ready? What's wrong? <coughs> right, fire. Damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? Right. Let's go reset it, man. There. It's reset. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. A scanner is pretty cool, man. Some insane dick right there. That was close. Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge.
See, there's going to be endless amounts of fun in this game, though. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, what Captain. What the hell is that? Last. That looks insane. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Right. <laughs> All of our long range scans told us it was There's in the green cell. Some form of a cloud around that planet, though, that destroys stuff. It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? No one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Right, like a very big part of our planet seems destroyed at the stage, so uh My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right. You'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop. Stop the good luck rock before right. we go. Way the hell is... It's an old superstition of your dad's. Get your helmet, man. Hold on. Some other stuff. Hang in there, Scott. Looks like dad's already suited up. Crashing the party, huh? Oh, sorry. Good luck, rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. Ryder? Hey, Fisher. How's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. My dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship. Her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it? Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. 
I go wherever he goes. All right. <coughs> hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? Captain, I still need an update on our sensor array. Please report in as soon as possible. Tough to say. Sensors can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah. It'd be a shame to go through all this training and not put it to good use. <laughs> See you guys on the ride down. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armament. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? I figure it's a chance to show everyone what we can do. Go out there and earn our stripes. You're Alex's daughter, the Pathfinder right? team is assembling in the I always hangar. wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, I'd better get my gear in order. Right, so that's in my opinion what makes a good game is that you don't need to read the whole time. Safe and sorry. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. So all the characters must talk, man. Especially when it's like over 10 gig. It's more than enough space that's being Dr. used Carlisle, to put in voices. With everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. You better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. <laughs> you know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I guess Maybe that's the, <clears throat> the two options. Either. Yes, sir. Well, okay. Your mom would have been proud. Spaceships will need to be capable Both. of moving very fast or warping. And also the stasis okay, thing. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because. Oh, you're we must figure out a way to just defeat aging, man. But because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Right, finally down to the planet, man. We've been waiting 600 years for this. Archive here, this is Shuttle 1. Switching to manual guidance. Shuttle 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Unstable, surrounding the planet, man. Gravity anomalies detected. That's a problem.
Name's Liam Costa. Security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe Folly doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. Land is dead ahead. Lightning strike, man. Acceleration increasing. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Jeez. Terminal velocity. Sam! Falling straight at a mountain, man, like. Right, some insane tech. That's all I see there. Alright, sir. They did a good job on the rocks. This is very shiny though. But it looks cool. Definitely one crazy Ryder. planet, man. How's your survival training? I've seen my ship, okay. I was crazy. wondering something no. would stop me, but I, I guess I us. can go die. Right, so. Uh... Those rocks out there? Are okay, so there's a save button. Anyway. Okay, that's pretty cool. Some of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? Okay, so... <clears throat> Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. So that's what the scanner is for, man. There's a no fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our sound connection. Oh, and safety tip? Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. 
Okay, so can scan everything. Figured that's what the scanner would be for. Love the jumping thing. It's pretty cool. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on! We gotta get through it! This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Guess you'd run and oh. pray that you don't die. Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell is going on with this place? <sighs> Planet's trying to murder us. Look, something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. Here be dragons. Cora will love it. Right. Yep. Guess that classifies as dragons. There! We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. Okay, so it's interesting. I think I can see a path up. We use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach. I think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can. <sighs> More glowing mushrooms. Detecting a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it, but it's powerful. Right. Found something there. How did my dad find you? I was a cop. Then crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. This is going to be close. That's it. We're getting there. That's insane, man. There's too much lightning. You need to be very, very lucky to actually make it through this. I think I see the top. Trouble, but oh, no. but it's our job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait, look. Hey, Holy aliens, shit. man. What was first contact protocol again? No deadly force unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah, said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. Yeah, and Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. <laughs> nice and easy. We only go hot if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us yet. No, I am sure. We can't understand you! We're not here to fight! That man's with us! Can you help? Doesn't sound friendly. 
What's the other guy doing? Play it sweet! Okay. They were beating him, so... Guess, just shoot, man. Okay. It's over. Bishop, you okay? Oh, so much for making peace with the locals. Thanks for jumping in. We tried talking. I guess they didn't want to listen. What else could we do? You've saved my life. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were live on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we'd even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Alright guys. So, um, I guess this gives you an idea of the game. It is going to be endless amounts of fun. It is very cool. Very awesome engine. A little bit of an older game, but it's still totally worth $25, man. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time. Cheers.